bless. I want to talk today about kitchen fire safety. As you may know, I was a cook in the submarine service, and being in that harsh environment, we had to know all the ins and outs in the kitchen, how to stop a fire, and most importantly, how to prevent a fire. The number one leading cause for all residential fires comes from the kitchen. Some of those causes are unattended cooking, frying, and distractions from leaving food unattended. Turkey Day, our favorite holiday of the year, is the peak day for all fires. Let's talk about some fire prevention. If you're cooking with high heat, what you want to remember is never leave the kitchen unattended. Leaving the kitchen unattended can pose a great risk for unsuspecting victims with grease burning their skin or getting grease in the electrical outlets that could pose a fire. Now cooking with low heat here is a different story. You don't have that much of a risk. Just make sure you set a timer so you don't forget it. In the kitchen, you may have tripping hazards that could pose a risk. You could trip and hit your head on a counter or something, but make sure with the pots and pans, you don't have the handles out like this. You could walk by and get grease burned or boiling water burned. Uh, try keeping the kitchen a kid-free zone and pet-free zone. Uh, dealing with the oven is the same thing, high and low heat. Just make sure you have a timer set and never forget it. Uh, I want to talk to you also about how to put out a fire in case you ever have one for her. Three main sources of fire that come from the kitchen come from the microwave, the stove, and the oven. If you were to come into the kitchen and a fire would occur on your stove, for instance, most of us would immediately want to go and put that fire out. You're just going to injure yourself. Make sure you have some sort of oven mitt or towel. Grab a lid and put it over the fire. Immediately turn off the heat. Never use water on a stove that, that contains a frying pan with oil. That could just cause further injury and burn you. Never move the frying pan to the sink or outside. That will just cause the fire to travel and spread faster. Now deal with the oven and you find a fire in the oven, you want to make sure the door is closed, power off, and just let the fire dumb down until the fire is extinguished. The difference with the microwave and the oven is you just want to unplug it, secure power. Injuries that come from these are uh, fire thermal burns and uh, scalding spill burns. Both range from superficial to full thickness burns. Baking soda is a great extinguishing agent that you'd love to have around the kitchen. If you don't know where the fire extinguisher is, it's a good snuffing agent. Now, learning kitchen fire safety in our kitchen and everybody's homes is a great way to prevent fires across the nation and save lives of your neighbors, your friends, and your family. See you next time.